Hey everyone, it's Monira with another Tips Tuesday, happy hour edition. So today I want to talk to you about Sesame Street. During quarantine, we have been watching a lot of Sesame Street. If you have a toddler at home, perhaps you can understand and relate. And maybe we're watching a little too much Sesame Street, but hey, it's educational, right? Uh, but I did notice the other day what a great job Sesame Street actually does. They break up into little segments, they have a letter of the day, they have a number of the day, and I was thinking to myself, oh my gosh, this is exactly what we try to convey when we talk about employer to employee communications, right? Make it short, little bits of information, make it snackable, that way the person on the under, other end is more likely to learn, receive the information better, because when we're little, we like to receive information in little chunks. And when we grow up, we don't grow out of that. We still like to learn about things in just little snackable chunks of information. So let's think about your benefits education. Think about open enrollment season coming up. The norm is we give employees all this benefits information, right? And say, here you go, have fun, choose your benefits. They're thousands of dollars and you have a week to decide. It's a big decision to make and it's overwhelming, it's daunting. So consider this, consider taking a hint from Sesame Street. Can you break up your benefits information in little chunks leading up to open enrollment? So on Sesame Street, right, they have a letter of the day. You're not learning the entire alphabet in one day. You're just learning about one letter. So maybe four weeks before open enrollment starts, maybe six weeks before open enrollment starts, can you educate on one benefit of the week? So maybe one week you talk about medical. Maybe the next week you talk about different savings opportunities like FSA or HSA. Maybe one week you focus on retirement savings and really um, emphasize the match that you provide. Maybe another week you're talking about voluntary or supplemental benefits how that actually works and what that means for the employee. How, what is the benefit to them? So when it comes to benefits communication, take a hint from Sesame Street. Can you do little bits of snackable information in order to not overwhelm and truly educate your employees about your awesome benefits package? All right, guys, if you do this, try it, let me know. I'll see you next Tuesday for another tip.